Welcome to Wilderness Wanderings in the Word. I'm Pastor Phil from Lakeland Church in Carbondale, and we invite you to join us as we read through the Bible this year. Our text for June 10th today is Proverbs 22 through 24. I've entitled our devotional exercise, Daily Discipline Leads to Delight. Our text and focus is Proverbs 24, 30 through 34. I went past the field of the sluggard, past the vineyard of the man who lacks judgment. Thorns had come up everywhere. The ground was covered with weeds, and the stone wall was in ruins. I applied my heart to what I observed and learned a lesson from what I saw. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a bandit and scarcity like an armed man. I consider myself a novice gardener. Still, I've learned something in my 40 years of trying to grow a garden every year. Every year, I have this constant fight with weeds in my garden. I really want to have a great-looking garden, but the weeds usually went out by mid-July, and I give up. Well, a man in my church is well-known for his perfect gardens. If you go to his house, you'll find every row in his garden weed-free. The produce that comes from his garden is award-winning. I'm jealous of his gardening skills, and I'm jealous of how great his garden looks. Weeds have lost the battle in his garden. One day I finally asked him, how is it your garden looks so perfect? I thought there'd be some chemical he used for some easy ritual. I was disappointed when he told me that he spends about two hours every day in his garden, tilling, weeding, and pruning. Then I saw a lesson from the garden from my walk with Christ. How long does it take for weeds to win in a garden? Just regular neglect. You wake up tired and you think, I can work in my garden tomorrow. Without your notice, the weeds say, we've won. Ah, just a little compromise with your weeds and they take over. Yesterday, my garden was perfectly weed free. But I looked out this morning, what did I find? Weeds, weeds, and more weeds everywhere. Now, mind you, they had not taken over yet. But they knew they would because I had the habit of letting my garden go for several days. It was then I learned that weeds grow faster than my vegetables. One, after one week of neglect, I could see weeds. I've decided to pay more attention to my garden this year. If I spend just one hour a day weeding, pruning, and cultivating, I found that weeds are kept at bay. So it is with our walk with Christ. The weeds of sin grow over time, all the time. If I do not tend to my personal walk with Christ daily by regularly feeding on his word and confessing my sins, the weeds of sin will take over and ruin my walk with God. When I should have much fruit, I may have only weeds as a result. Why not take the time to open God's word daily and spend an hour with him, meditating and cultivating your relationship with God? God, I confess I've been amiss in my relationship with you. I've allowed my slothfulness to win. No more, God. I see now that I need thee every hour of every day. Strengthen my resolve to work in my spiritual garden so I can bear fruit for your glory. Amen.